Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Monday Morning Mojo. I'm your host, Anna Gibbs, and I am excited to jump into today's topic. It's a little thing that can create huge impact in your life. And today we're going to talk about gratitude. It's a perfect time of year. For those of you listening at another time, it's November and it's a time where we automatically start to think about our blessings and want to express them. Whether it's on Thanksgiving, around the holiday table, or to ourselves quietly, it becomes a traditional time of year where we start to think about our blessings and we want to connect with our gratitude. Today, I want to share why it's important for us to have a practice of gratitude every day, not just during this time of the year, because gratitude can create amazing things for you in your life, both physically and emotionally. Gratitude is like a turbo boost of confidence that can help you really connect with your whole heart. And when you express gratitude, you can't feel fear. And for those of us who are looking to create more positivity in our lives, for those of us who are working to get past some of our limited thinking and just remove some toxicity or negativity in our lives, getting into a daily habit of gratitude can be a powerful way for you to push out a lot of those negative feelings and fears and really allow more space for positive thoughts, for optimism, for productivity, for an expansion of your heart and your mind. I want to challenge us to have this attitude of gratitude because again, no fear can live in this space. And when we can act from a place of gratitude and not fear, we're going to find that we can relieve stress because stress just can't survive in such a positive environment as gratitude. We've heard about this before, and there's countless research that has proven that individuals who have a regular gratitude practice, one that's integrated into their daily life, live a more fulfilling life. They live with less stress, leading to a better quality of life, improved immune systems, better health, And they're just living a more balanced life, feeling like their emotions are more in balance as well. So we're going to explore this today and unpack it. And I'm going to give you three easy steps that will help you make expressing gratitude an easy part of your daily routine, one that you'll stick with and one that you're going to really enjoy. Here's something else to consider too. Expressing gratitude is a skill And like any skill, it's going to require some practice to master it. So this is something that you're going to look at an easy way to incorporate into your life and build on the habit every day. And I think that there's nothing more powerful than feeling connected to your blessings, feeling that love swell up in your heart, feeling that gratitude. And especially when the gratitude is surrounding a person, someone in your life that you feel is contributing to your overall well-being, maybe someone who is on your team who's doing a great job, someone who is helping you, then we want to make sure that we can express the gratitude to them as well. So we'll go through the three steps, and I promise you that this will be something that will change you and transform your life. Because gratitude is truly the gateway to living a happier life. And I think that when we start to really stand in our space and we understand that it's about putting happiness first, success comes after. So the word gratitude is derived from the Latin word gratia, which means grace, graciousness, or gratefulness, depending on the context. And in some ways, gratitude encompasses all of these meanings. Gratitude is a thankful appreciation for what an individual receives, whether it might be tangible or intangible. And with gratitude, people can acknowledge the goodness in their lives. And so in the process of expressing gratitude, we recognize the source. We recognize the source of that goodness And we also tend to see how much of it can reside outside of ourselves. And so as a result, being grateful can also help you connect to something bigger than yourself. 
So whether you're connecting to other people, whether you're connecting to your nature, things around you or a higher power, it reveals something really spectacular about your connection to something greater than you. So I refer to gratitude as a gateway to happiness. And so if we could incorporate a daily habit around expressing gratitude, imagine what that would do for our happiness quotient. I think that it does transform both our inner and our outer environment. I think we would tend to see things differently. So then the things around us look different and that creates an opportunity for change. I'm sure that this is not a new concept to many of you. I've even talked about this here before on Mojo. And I've, I've often referred to keeping a gratitude journal. And I just want to say that is a great way to create a daily habit around expressing gratitude. But I also want to just be honest and acknowledge that it can be daunting too. Having this idea, right, this concept of a gratitude journal and then choosing the right time of day, picking a place in your home, right? Creating a ritual where there's a special notebook and a candle and your cup of tea and, and a special time of, of the evening where you sit and reflect can be really exciting for many of you. And some of you are probably doing it. And yet for others, it could seem overwhelming and it might seem hard to keep up with. <laughs> and I just want to be totally transparent because I do think that journaling is a great way for us to heal. It's a great way for us to be creative. It's a place to collect our thoughts, use this as a gratitude journal. And I sometimes can't keep up with the daily practice of it either. Even though I know how important it is or how beneficial it is, life for me is busy and there are nights when I might be too tired or get in too late or just plain forget. And so I just want to share with any of you listening who might be in the same category as I am that we like journaling, but it may not be an everyday thing. First of all, it's okay. You're in safe space here. And we can still create a daily habit around gratitude without feeling like it has to be so structured. And so that is where we're going to start with the three steps I have for you right now, which is to give you a, a new and alternative way to create a discipline around expressing and feeling gratitude. This is the other thing we all have to keep in mind. If we can make the process simple, it will be easier to stick to it. I know sometimes we can overcomplicate things. And as beautiful as that ritual might sound about sitting at night and creating the special time to write in a journal, if it's just not really realistic for you in where you are in your life right now, then don't stress over it. Yet you can still get the benefits of expressing gratitude. We're just going to do it in a different way. And we're going to do it in a way that works for us. And so that is step one of this three-step process that I want to share with you today on how you can create your own gratitude ritual. And I think that it will, again, build consistency because it's easy for you to follow through. And the awareness and ability to recognize the positive things happening in your life is really what the goal is. So that can actually be done even on the fly. And so if you think about it, you can stop what you're doing for a minute and acknowledge something that you're grateful for any time throughout the day. And one of the maybe easiest ways to record or, and, and really journal how you feel every day, all the thoughts you have around your gratitude could be using your phone, something that you have with you all the time. You can use the note-taking app in your phone. You can record it. But I think that, again, if we could just get connected to our awareness, get connected to our feelings, and understand the power that expressing gratitude has for our mental, physical, and emotional health, then don't let anything get in your way of doing that. And you can do it on the go or on the fly. And again, it's really about connecting to the feeling that gratitude creates for us. So I have this easy three-step process that will help you express gratitude. And step number one is to be specific 
and present. So the, the thing about that is that we want to get really clear and specific about what we're feeling grateful for. And we want it to be about something that happened today. And, and I get it. We're all very grateful for our family. We're grateful for our health, our career, right? There are a lot of these big picture things that we're very grateful for. But the challenge is to not have that feeling that we're saying the same thing every day. And so I want you to get into a habit of really being very clear and specific about something that happened today. And it could be something that seems small, but it's really about the way it makes you feel. And so if we could acknowledge and appreciate all the things happening around us, if we could take a look at something that happened today and say, I'm really grateful for that. For instance, maybe it's your teenage daughter. She came home from school happier than usual. She actually seemed to like you, gave you a hug and a kiss. And that's really a powerful feeling to be grateful for that moment with your daughter. It could be that you found that great parking spot. It could be that it just felt right at work today. Everybody was in synergy. It could be that the group showed up on time to the meeting. Whatever it is, it is about building on these feelings day after day. And it's about creating an awareness in your mind to start looking for things that are positive around you that you can appreciate and feel grateful for. The other benefit to step one is that if you get in the habit of recognizing things that you're grateful for every day, you're going to create consistency and you're going to see that is what is going to build on this habit of gratitude. And that's going to allow you to feel more fulfilled. All right, step number two, don't wait for the perfect time to express gratitude. In other words, don't wait for the nighttime to fall. Don't wait for the morning. If it's working for you right now, if you have a consistent practice around expressing gratitude, if you are one of those people who has that ritual at night or in the morning and you keep a gratitude journal and you're very faithful with that, don't stop what you're doing. But for the rest of us, I think that we have to acknowledge that there is no perfect time. We can choose to express gratitude at any time during the day. The key is just doing it daily. You could decide maybe to do it lunchtime if that's something that would work for you. Or I know some people who have set reminders on their phone. And perhaps you do that for the morning and the afternoon. It's whatever works for you where you can just pause, take some notes in your note app on the phone, record it on your phone, and just take a few minutes and see what has happened around you and what you're grateful for. Getting into this habit of expressing gratitude every day means that we also will avoid getting into, I guess, a trap, right? Of feeling like whatever is happening around us is not enough or what we have is not enough. And I think that we can often find ourselves in a cycle of wanting and that's different than creating vision and, and wanting to achieve, right? I think when we have this feeling that we want things, there is already a belief that something's missing or lacking. And what I love about getting into this consistent daily practice of expressing gratitude is that it changes our perspective and it helps us to see the things that are right here in front of us. And so I think that it can help you notice more of the positive things in your life. And whatever they are, there's a lot of them. And sometimes we can be a little oblivious to that. And so this can remind us of what's important, what are the priorities. And this really developing this practice of expressing gratitude daily, it also helps us to be more present. It helps us to live in the present moment. Because as I said, you're gonna start programming your mind to look for the things happening around you that you're grateful for. So it stops you from moving too far out into the future where a lot of times worry and anxiety can develop and it keeps us from getting stuck in the past. So I think it's important to recognize that gratitude encourages you to live in the present moment, which can reduce a lot of stress and anxiety and that therefore can boost your mood. So as you boost your mood, you might find that it can strengthen your relationships. And so you see there's this really great domino effect that occurs 
when we get into this daily habit of expressing gratitude. And that brings me to my third step. And it's simple, guys. If gratitude is centered around another person, if at any time during your daily practice, you find that your gratitude is connected to someone else, please let them know. Share your feelings with them and express your gratitude outwardly to them. It could be a quick call, a quick conversation, a quick phone call or text. It could be a thank you note. Whatever it is, acknowledge them, thank them, show your appreciation for whatever it is that you're grateful for because you will then take all the positive benefits we just talked about in it, what happens to you when you express gratitude and you will transfer some of that to someone else. And so I think that is really powerful. So when someone shows up on your list and you feel grateful for that and anything that they've done, share it with them. I promise you, it will help you feel 10 times better. And so I will say, as I end this quick, but I, I trust powerful conversation with you, I will end saying that if there's anything you're grateful for in this episode, or in this podcast, if you're grateful for the content that is shared here every week on Monday Morning Mojo, please share it with me. I would love to know your thoughts. I would love to hear your gratitude for whatever it is that you receive from this podcast every week. And so there are two ways you can honor that. The first way is to tell me, and you can do that by writing something in the app that you're listening to, you can give us a, an endorsement. You can give us a review. We appreciate your five-star review and any comments you want to leave. You can also post something in our closed Facebook group, which is Monday Morning Mojo with Anna Gibbs. So make sure you join if you're not already a member. Would love to see your thoughts there, your gratitude there. You can email me. You can also put it on any of my socials. You can find me on Instagram at Coach Anna Gibbs. You can find me on Facebook as Anna Gibbs, LinkedIn. I would just love to know uh, what your thoughts are, and I appreciate you sharing that. And the second way you can express gratitude for this podcast is to share it with other people. So please, if this episode or any episode resonates with you, share it with some friends, let them know about it, ask them to follow the show too. I appreciate building this community because I'm grateful for the opportunity to do this. I'm grateful to you for listening, but I just love the fact that for me, this is a way to express myself. This is a way for me to teach. This is a way for me to lead. This is a way for me to provide value and just in any small way, help someone think differently and more importantly, act differently because that brings the new results. I love you. I'm grateful for you. Thank you so much. And I will see you next week.